in order to ensure to its people a life with dignity. Food security is a priority in India. For this, focus is both on ensuring food availability in sufficient quantity and ensuring accessibility at affordable prices to the people. India has come a long way in terms of production of food grain from around 51 million tons in 1950-51 to an estimated production of 265 million tons in 2013-14. A five-fold increase going beyond self-reliance to generate surplus. With the food grain production base diversified across crops and geographical regions, it is less susceptible to crop failures arising out of adverse weather conditions. The government has enacted the historic National Food Security Act 2013 to address the issue of accessibility to the vast population. In a first of its kind, the Act marks a paradigm shift from welfare-based to a rights-based approach. The Act follows a life-cycle approach starting with specific entitlements for nutritional support to children and pregnant women. It gives legal right to two-thirds of the country's population, about 810 million persons, to receive food grain at highly subsidized prices. The coverage has been delinked from the official poverty estimates and is vast enough to include all the vulnerable sections of society. Keeping in view the federal structure and wide difference in the socio-economic conditions across 36 states and union territories, state governments have the flexibility in identifying eligible households. Every household covered under the Act is entitled to receive 5 kg of food grain per person per month at affordable prices with a higher entitlement for the poorest of the poor households. Pregnant women and lactating mothers are entitled to nutritional meals free of cost, alongside a maternity benefit of 6,000 rupees as supplementary support to augment nutrition and to partly compensate for loss of wages. Children up to 14 years of age are also entitled to meals as per the prescribed nutritional norms. As a measure of women's empowerment, women above 18 years of age are to be the heads of eligible households. Nutritional support to women and children up to six years of age is provided through over 1.3 million Anganwadi centers. Nutritious meals to children in the age group of 6 to 14 years will be delivered through the midday meal scheme in about 1.2 million schools. An effective grievance redressal mechanism is essential to enable people access their entitlements. A two-tier mechanism at the district and state levels will look into grievances relating to non-distribution of entitlements and monitor implementation of the law. Dedicated call centres are used for lodging complaints. The annual requirement of food grain for implementing the Act is 61 million tonnes, of which 55 million tonnes will be distributed through the public distribution system alone and the rest is for other schemes for nutritional support. A well-established institutional mechanism evolved over a period of time exists for delivery of entitlements under the public distribution system aided by a wide and geographically diversified network of agencies across the country. More than 14,000 purchase centres are engaged in the procurement of food grain from the farmers. They procure about 60 million tons of food grain annually through price support operations. About 40 million tons of food grain is transported annually to meet the requirement of food grain across the country. Storage facilities have been created throughout the country. These are networked with a supply chain of over half a million distribution outlets. Involvement of people's institutions such as local bodies, cooperatives and women's self-help groups in running these outlets is encouraged. More than 25% of the public distribution system outlets are run by such institutions. To ensure that benefits reach the intended beneficiaries, 
special focus is laid on widespread use of ICT tools through complete computerization of the distribution network. India firmly believes that food security is our first and foremost priority. We are determined to fulfill this commitment towards ensuring a healthy future to all our citizens.